All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are reviewing Slash, the turtle from Dimension X. So let me go ahead and say this. This review is going to be based on this figure and this figure only. There were other figures based on this figure from Playmates back in the days, but I'm not gonna be comparing it to that. So I'm not gonna be disappointed if there's any changes in color or the sculpt or anything like that. I am basing my review on what I have in front of me, which is this really freaking cool turtle here. He is so hefty. The amount of plastic that they used on him is pretty impressive. The detail is crazy good. Probably my favorite Super 7 so far. And unlike any other Super 7 I have, he doesn't have any quality control issues that I can see. Here's the box that Super 7 comes in. Some of you really like the boxes. And I actually like these boxes too, to tell you the truth. So let's start with his head sculpts. This is the first one. I need you to look at this and be impressed because damn, right? The texture the detail that he's got not only on his face but on his eye mask that he's got i mean look at it the texture is just incredible it's nice his chest there it's yellow um the paint on most of his body that i can see looks really good that little uh what is it armor that he's got on his shoulder it maybe could use a little bit more paint but it's super highly detailed for sure head sculpt number two it looks really good as well this is actually my favorite i mean look at those teeth man <laughs> that's ginormous those are big teeth this guy looks really impressive and he feels impressive. Like the amount of plastic they use on him, he feels super sturdy. And I know that if once you hold him in your hand, you're gonna think to yourself the same thing I'm thinking, that this is probably the most impressive Super 7 in the Turtles lineup that you have. It's really good. Let's go to his hands here. This is the first pair that he's got. He comes with a lot of different stuff, so bear with me here. He has this uh, holding hand, so he can hold a lot of his weapons that way. Look at the detail. I mean, the fact that they paint his nails too. There's been other Super 7s uh, from the Thundercat line where they didn't do that. The fact that they did it for this uh, Slash character, that's awesome. That's one of my big gripes with the Super 7 so far. If you check out my previous reviews, I really harped on that because I'm like, come on, how much of an effort would it take to paint their fingernails a little differently, right? And so they did that here and I'm really impressed. So check it out. I'm trying to distinguish myself here by showing you the close-ups. I mean, this gets you really close to his hands. You can see and appreciate the detail in the paint. I mean, it just looks amazing. He comes with four different hands here. You can see them all here. He's got punching hands and he's got two sets of hands to hold his, uh, his accessories, which I'll get to in just a second actually. And then he's got some open palm hands. All of them are painted really nicely. That pink that's around their hands holding the blade, that maybe could be painted a little bit better, but it's not bad. It's highly detailed, that's for sure. So let's go to the accessories, of which he's got a ton. So I know that I said I wasn't going to compare him to the old school toys, but the fact is he is based on these old Playmate toys. So he give, they give you the old accessories that he used to come with. But these are his new ones, right? They're all painted nicely. Two grenades, three ninja throwing stars. Two of them look the same, and the third one's a slightly different, uh, not slightly, but it is different. They're all nice. Even the texture on this is nice. The paint looks good. So he's got this. These are his nunchucks, I think. That plastic isn't very uh, moldable, but you can bend it so he can hold it with two hands if that's what you want but which you should because they're nunchucks right but look at the detail on the actual blades on the nunchucks i mean i'm impressed i'm impressed because 
I've been reviewing a lot of moth eggs lately, and I, I keep getting on the fact that that figure cost $105 for the Cyclops and the Wolverine and the Deadpool, and the figure looks like there's hardly any texture in it. And I know that it's supposed to be, that's supposed to be like that. At least that's what I'm being told. But to me, it's just lazy. You're being lazy. The company's being lazy. Maybe that's the whole aspect and the whole way that they want to do it, but I guess what I really want is a highly articulated figure with detail the way Super 7 and the way Slash here is. This looks freaking nice to me, man. Uh, you can see his nunchucks being held with two hands, like I said. Uh, he's got this mace, which is really highly detailed as well. The paint could be a little better on the pink, I think, and maybe on the black. But on the silver, it looks really good. There's some uh, wash there that makes it look a little shinier in spots. And it's also because of my light. But no, it does have nicely uh, detailed paint on the silver part. He's got that crazy looking knife. I mean, how would that work in real life? I don't know. He's got that thing at the end of the edgy point. That doesn't look like it'll work. But dude, look at the paint on this and the texture. Look at the close-up I'm giving you. That looks freaking nice. I think that looks great. And the fact that he comes with so many accessories. Look at this thing, man. That is a crazy looking killing killing weapon here. But uh, the paint on it is just like the other accessories where the silver to me looks great. The pink part can be a little bit better. But I mean, it's such a small little detail for how much this figure costs. It's awesome. And the fact that you can fit all his accessories, well, not all, but most, and onto his belt, that's awesome. You can put a, one grenade in there, his knife. You can put the, the throwing stars on there. I mean, it has a spot, those little pegs there on one side of his body and then the other. And you can pretty much display him like this. That's cool. So maybe you're thinking this turtle is huge. There's no way he's that articulated and you might be right, but I don't think that he does that badly. Actually, he raises his arms about that high, which is pretty standard. I think for a lot of figures, even the more expensive ones, he's got swivel at the shoulders and elbow. You can do a lot of things with him. And the fact that he's highly textured is even cool. Look, he even, he can even cover his eyes. That's pretty cool. So he can bend his arms in a lot of different ways. His wrist, as well they have vertical hinges at the wrist his elbows can go about 90 degrees maybe a little bit less but not that much less look at his head it looks up it looks sideways it looks the other side and it looks down just a little bit he's hardly got any waist rotation though that big shell doesn't really allow for that but look he's surprisingly limber when it comes to doing the splits so he is much more articulated than you probably gave him credit for being so big Look at the crazy things he can do with his leg. I mean, you might do that if, let's say, one of the other turtles beat him up. And the fact that his tail articulates, that's freaking cool. It goes that way and then it goes the other way. I mean, that's pretty cool. I like that. So how does he compare? Let's see. Well, you have him up against the uh, NECA which is uh, Brooklyn there. That scales all right. Marvel Legends Apocalypse, that's pretty good too. And then there's the Thundercat 7-inch. So I would say that Super 7 scales fairly well to the uh, NECAs and the Marvel Legends. Although maybe not to all the Marvel Legends, but to the Apocalypse character here, he scales pretty well. So how much is this figure? Well, let's see here. You can get him at Toys in the Box for 53 bucks, Super 7 for 55 bucks, Big Bad Toy Store 55, or Amazon for 41. I think the choice is clear here. So the bottom line is you're going to figure out is this figure worth it? If you already have all the other Turtles Super 7s, then yeah, you're going to get him. If you have this nostalgic feeling for Slash the way I do, you're going to get him. Although you have other choices like the NECA version. I really like this version. Not only is this figure super sturdy, but he's highly, highly detailed. More so than any of the other Super 7s I've opened so far. And his painting on, on him is fairly, I mean, not just fairly good. It's really good. I mean, if they had done a little bit more shading on some of the pink parts, I would have been even better. But 
Nah, dude, this guy is highly, highly detailed, which is something I really like. And he are, he's very articulated for how big he is. So I would say he's worth it. I would say pay the full price if you have to. But why would you? He's $41.99 as of today, May 15th. So go for it, get him because dude, this guy is cool. I can picture these really cool opportunities to take photos of him fighting somebody like Spawn or the Clown. I, I know that sounds weird, like pitting him against him, but imagine the photos, they'll look really cool. Hey guys, if you can subscribe, that would be awesome. I put a lot of effort into these videos, like more than you probably realize, I think is this takes a while to produce. But uh, I would really, really, really appreciate it if you subscribe and commented and let me know what you think about your Slash character or the other Super 7s or any other figure that you have. Let's talk toys, man. I like talking about that. So I hope to hear from you soon, all right? Thanks.